My name is Tammy, and I have a uh, warning on my lips. Yeah. What's happening with uh, camera three? Right, let's go uh, I'm getting a warning light on my P360. Okay, Cookie, are you there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Can we get the names, please? Okie doke. Okay, welcome to the big show. I need to do a sound Everybody check. Nate. Okay, here we yeah. Go. Sound check, one. please. Check one. Two. Hey, one, contestants, two, how you doing? Glad you could be here. How many people do we have playing today? All right, uh, player one, how about typing your name in for me now? Uh, we need speed in about 10 seconds. How's the beta deck? Beta deck's happening. Awesome. All right, player two, we need your name next. 45 Thanks. seconds. And player three, could you spell your name for us? Because I don't... Oh, yeah. Uh, are you looking for a seven-question tournament link? Thanks, babe. Question 16. 30 oh. seconds. Uh, player one, your buzzer's the letter Q, as in quartz watch. Player two, you have the letter B, as in butt steak. And player three, you have the letter P as in, uh, proctology. Corned beef, or do I lean corned beef, but actually, this thing not too lean. It should have some fat. Do the commercial. Veins of fat right to it. Whoa, hello. All right, uh, you're going to get a bunch of questions. First person to hit their buzzer gets first crack at the cash. Pick the answer you think is right and hit the number on your keyboard. Cool? Good luck. Okay, need your attention. Let's go. Lose the desktop. Thank you. Let's go to black. Post Major Emma. dick action figure. Uzi sold separately. Welcome our three contestants. Welcome! I think they like you. <laughs> Tell you something, we got one fabulous show for you tonight, so let's set up. Okay, first off, we gotta give you your screws. There we are, a round of screws for our guests. Now, let's say a question comes up and you look next to you and you can see your neighbor doesn't have a clue to save their life. Screw them. Buzz in and hit the S key. That'll force them to answer that question anyway. Got it? All right, let's do it. Player three, select a category. Get ready for some fun. It's question number one. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Superheroes on PBS. And we are talking 1,000 bucks for this question. All right, do you remember the superhero Letterman on the Electric Company? He's faster than a rolling O, stronger than Silent E, and able to leave what in a single bound? Over you. Capital T. It's a word. It's a plan. It's a really unpleasant sensation if he doesn't clear that crossbar. <laughs> Player three, pick a category for me. What do you do? It's question number two. The name of this category is sports cars and time travel. This question's going to be worth $2,001 bills. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. If you were hit by a speeding Corvette before 1953, you were probably where? Swimming in the ocean, biking in France, walking in the jungle in South America, or in a... Buzz in, then answer. What did I just say? You said buzz in? Yeah! Yo! I said buzz! Go for it. Let's see, what's French for wrong answer? Mm-hmm, I know that's right. Women. Before it was considered a hot babe mobile, a Corvette was a WW2 Allied warship. Category player two, let's do it. Ooh it's question number three. This one's gonna be prank calls and personal tragedies. The amount on the table is three grand. Get your eyes focused on the screen, here we go. If the manager of your bowling alley really does have 10-pound balls, from what might he be suffering? Philoriasis, tinea pedis, yaws, or fast... <laughs> player? Let me guess. You saw the word magna, thought about big balls, and went for it, huh? Nice try. <laughs> player two, player... <laughs> you gotta answer it, player two. The manager's lymph ducts might be blocked by an infestation of parasitic worms, causing enormous scrotal swellings. This condition is known as... Filariasis. And to answer your next question, he puts his pants on very carefully. Aru! 
revenge. You are so sweet. Let's have a category player too. The category behind this question is the NHL and diseases of the inbred. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. If it's team name we're taking literally, what disease would the Los Angeles Kings hockey team need to worry about most? Player three, take it. Syphilis? Ah, uh, no, that's what you get if you're not careful where you put your stick. Player hemophilia, when the blood doesn't clot normally. The uh, aristocracy had a little problem with hemophilia due to their inbreeding, so it's called the disease of kings. Player two, pick. Uh oh, best butts fits mine, whore. It's time for a flicker kiss, no scope. All right, now here's your category for this gibberish question. Sex toys and lotions. Opening value on this gibberish question, 5,000 bucks. Okay, to solve this puzzle, you gotta think fast because every second and a half, I'm ticking off a little bit of cash. All right, get set. Now, don't let the punctuation throw you off on this one. What proverb does this rhyme with? Wear a prod, hand oil the mild. I'll tell you, I haven't had a good hand oiling in quite a while. First hint, it's about discipline. Go for it, player one. Type in your... Really close, and I want to say you absolutely nailed it, but then I'd be lying, wouldn't I? Player two, go for it. Type. Uh, okay, now just so there's no confusion here. Uh, we at You Don't Know Jack do not necessarily advocate the use of physical discipline. This puzzle is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes only. What do you say, player two? How about it? Ba -ba -ba -bum. Number six, it's number six, it's the category. Candy bars can be so cruel. Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. Okay, we're coming at you, heads up. It's recess. Baby Ruth and Mr. Goodbar corner you by the slide and derisively call you a nutless wonder. You must be a w You got it. No nuts. Still, you could run nougats around those two. Player one, pick one. Zabba-dooba-dabba, question seven. Next up, smelly student bodies. A right answer will get you two Gs for this question. Okay, listen carefully. They're having student body elections at James Buchanan High. Horshack wants to get elected, so he gets Cotter to get Woodman to rearrange the voting district so that the sweat hogs are the only ones in the district in which he's running. What is this call? Gerrymandering. <laughs> Changing political districts to favor one candidate over another. Let's have a category player two. Wow! Wait, wait, elevate, hibernate, vegetate. Here's the category: sex, violence, and literary terminology. And it looks like you can win a thousand greenbacks for this one. Get ready to buzz, cause here it comes. There was a young man of Penzance who Roger just remade in Nance. This is the beginning of what type of poem? A limerick. There was a young man of Penzance who rogered his three maiden ants. Then the three ants blew his head off. The end. Okay, we need a category. Your pick, player two. Number nine. Oh, wait, do, 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 number nine. nine. This one's going to be, may the force be with you. Okay, shouldn't be too tough. This question's going to be worth a grand. Okay, now imagine that a movie theater advertises that they're showing one of the best movies in the Star Wars series. But when you get there, they tell you they couldn't get Empire Strikes Back, but they do have the less popular Ewoks, the Battle for Endor. Of what business practice is this an example? Bait and switch? Go bait and switch. I think that's also the process Princess Leia used to get her hair like that. Category player two, let's do it. 
All right, let's see what we're doing here. Fool's gold. And this one's going to be worth $1,000. All right, for this one, I think I'm going to let you read the multiple choice answers on your own. Ready? Put your fingers on your buzzers. Let's do it. Hey, remember that little dude who could spin straw into gold, but it would cost you your firstborn child? That's the one. Rumpelstiltskin, a charming tale of potential pedophilia. Okay, we're at the end of round one. Now on to round two. <laughs> All right, let me pull out some screws here. And everybody gets one. Here you go. Now, we are one round away from the jack attack, and all the questions in this round are going to be worth more than a round one. So pay attention, and let's do it. Player two, pick one. The name in this category is... Psst, do you want to be insulted? And if you can figure this one out, I can pay you 4,000 bucks. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. Let's say we're friends, and let's say that I call you cold, wet, and spineless. Now, let's say that I wasn't being rude. I was just telling you the truth. What animal are you? A Siamese fighting fish, an egret... Oh, go for it, player three. No, not that one. <laughs> An egret's a bird. Bet you're beginning to egret picking this one, huh? Oh, go for it. On behalf of the Siamese fighting fish, allow me to exercise some backbone. Yeah, well, you should have picked lobster. If you're a lobster, you're cold-blooded, spend a lot of time in water, and you have no spine. But with some lemon and butter, you're quite a dish. Player one, give me a category. Uh-oh, Test Nut Slick Crime Store. Once again, it's time for a ticklish past gun. This gibberish questions category is Civic Pride and Guys with Balls. The opening value for this gibberish question is going to be 10,000 bucks. Okay, now remember, the faster you solve this puzzle, the more money you win. Now remember, there's no screwing on gibberish questions. Ready? Put your fingers on your buzzers and tell me, what does this rhyme with? Fake tree trout through a wall frame. You might hear this in a stadium. Oh, it's all yours, player two. Holy cow, it's a home run! Fake tree trout through a wall frame. Let's have a category, player two. Black cat, heart attack, do your nightmare when you dream? Are you feeling lucky? It's number 13. The category is Election Night Fever. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Richard Nixon is to Gerald Ford as Danny Terrio is to the Fonz, Ed McMahon, Adrian Smith, or Don Cor... Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Ed McMahon did not take over for Danny Terrio, but if the idea was to list another guy who's disappeared from the face of the planet, you were really close. Wide open, player three. Quick, do your buzzer. Adrian's Mead. He was Danny Dario's replacement on Dance Fever. I guess the fever was terminal. Okay, we need a category from player... The category behind this question is the other white meat. I'll pay you $4,000 bills for this one if you get it right. Okay, I know we're getting a little personal here, but what is a pig's penis shaped like? Round and flat like a snout, thin and stiff like his eyelashes. It's shaped like a corkscrew. What do you say, Flirts? Uh-oh, West Truck looks nine more. Once again, it's time for a Tinker Lake Test Here's your gibberish category. Pregnant horses and sound advice. And if you're really fast, you can get up to 10,000 bucks for this gibberish question. Okay, now remember, you don't have all the time in the world here. The less time you take, the more money you make. Stand by. With what cliche does this rhyme? 
The Bowling Joan Slathers Dough Sauce. Player two, go for it. Type. Nice job, you got it. But I have to say, I think if Joan's foaling while she's slathering dough sauce, I think she's focusing on too many things at once. Player two, pick one. Question number 16. And I like it too. The category, to pork or not to pork? Hello, this one's gonna be worth $6,000. Okay, get yourself set, it's time. Now to avoid disease, what is the minimum temperature porky pig should let petunia pig reach before eating her? Go for it, please. 150 degrees. I mean, honestly, anything below that and she's just frigid. Category, player two, let's do it. Next up, 80s bands that can't accessorize. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Hang on, the time machine is lifting off and we're going back to the 80s. According to their lyrics, why does the band Men Without Hats not want to be friends with your friends? Because your friends can't dress, because your friends wear hats, because your friends are hateful, or because your friends don't dance. Oh, come on, nobody's gonna buzz in on this one? I, player two, you are so far ahead. I mean, I, I, think, I think player two should give this one a try. What do you think, audience? Don't be a witch! Player two, what do you say? Because your friends don't dance. And if they don't dance, well, sorry. I only hang out with dancers. Shallow, perhaps, but this is the 80s. Okay, we need a category. Your pick, player. Here's the category. Popeye and Brutal Kidnappers. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. All right, imagine this. Popeye's nemesis, Bluto, is going too far this time. Bluto kidnaps Sweet Pea's little sister, Chickpea, mashes her up into a paste with some fava beans and fries her. What is the best new nickname <laughs> for her? Go baby falafel. You know, I'd feel awful after being mashed up and fried too. Player two, pick one. He's me. Oh. He's me. Oh. It's the 19. The category is old fashioned child rearing values. This question's gonna be worth $2,001 bills. Now for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of this Disney movie. You know, it's got that guy from Family Affair and the parents separate singing twins who are supposed to be from Boston and California. Oh. Player two. You're screwing yourself. Hey, what you do on your own time is your good. The parent trap. There's a therapy bill I wouldn't want to pay. What do you say, player two? How about it? Ah, question number 20. The name of this category is, what is that you're saying? And this one is not gonna be easy, $6,000. Hang on tight, cause here we go. You stop off at the United Nations building to get some pamphlets and you meet a woman who speaks Esperanto. Where is she probably from? Australia, Essex, There's no way to tell. Esperanto is a language that's been invented for international communication. Let's have a category, player two. Time for the attack. Buzz in when two words match and you got 2,000 bucks. Buzz in when there isn't a match and you lose 2,000. And don't forget, it's not any old match we're looking for, it's the one that fits this clue. The man I used to be. Get your little finger poised over your buzzer. I'm gonna make it happen now.
four and on player two. I mean, not only did you win, but you did it in such a way that you demoralized your opponents. I love that. I almost feel bad about having to tell you. You don't know Jack. Okay, great show, everybody. Um, Cookie, what's the plan here with the contestants? Yeah, uh, listen, players, uh, if you want to play another game, uh, you just got to clue me into that, okay? I'm Rex, and I'm waiting for you to telephone me. Will you be my raster? 